Hello friends, hope you're doing good. So you might have heard about the airplane mode which you're supposed to turn on when you're traveling in an aeroplane. In today's video, we'll try to find out why are we supposed to turn this feature on. Will the aeroplane face any accident if you forget to do so? Or will there be any other serious consequences? Let's explore in today's video. Well, there are a lot of debates going on about this topic. Some people say that it has some serious consequences, therefore we are supposed to turn on this feature. And other people say that it is of no use and it is just a myth. It all started in 1991 when Federal Communications Commission banned the usage of cell phone on aeroplane. They said that the active signals from smartphones may interfere with the navigation system of an aeroplane. Later in 2005, Federal Communications Commission testified that this was no longer an issue because of the small cellular base stations established on the aeroplane. These base stations served the purpose of connectivity during the flight without any interference with the aircraft's communication system. Also in 2012, Federal Aviation Administration conducted a survey and identified that cell phones were not creating any disturbance to the performance of aeroplane. Although up until 2012, there wasn't any evidence of such interference we were still advised to keep on the airplane mode while traveling in an airplane just to be on the safe side although there might not be an issue if an individual person doesn't turn on the airplane mode but federal aviation administration has a policy of safety first therefore despite any conclusive evidence we are still supposed to turn on the airplane mode whenever we are traveling in an airplane but the concerns of federal aviation administration regarding the safety of airplane increased due to the emergence of 5G signals in US in 2022. These signals were suspected to have an interference with the navigation system of aeroplane. The reason was that the frequencies of the 5G signals were closer to the frequencies used by the radio altimeter in the aircraft. And the purpose of this instrument is to measure the altitude from the ground. Now imagine if there is an interference due to the 5G network, then this instrument will give wrong readings. This concern was based on a study done by Federal Aviation Administration. After the study, it was concluded that 5G signals can have an interference with the height measuring instruments on the aeroplane. Therefore, the CEOs of Boeing and Airbus presented their concerns in a letter to Department of Transportation in 2021 about the possible interference of 5G network with the altimeters reading before the rollout of 5G network in America. They wanted the 5G network not to be operational near the airports until the concerns are being resolved. This interference can give wrong reading to the pilot about the altitude and may result in some dangerous situations. For example, there have been some fatal accidents due to the inaccurate radar reading. Most recently, a Turkish airline flight 1951 met with an accident in Amsterdam in 2009. To tackle this problem, the Federal Aviation Administration announced a policy to upgrade the radio altimeters, which as I mentioned were the devices that used to measure the altitude of the aeroplane. So the Aviation Administration announced that every aeroplane should upgrade their radio altimeters. Otherwise, they won't be able to fly in the air. This was the policy they passed. And they categorized this as group 4 radar altimeter performance. So now, every aeroplane was supposed to meet this performance to avoid any interference from the 5G network. This policy also mentioned that the wireless companies should minimize the deployment of 5G signals near the airports until 1st January 2028. Another policy also mentioned that automatic landing should be avoided in the presence of 5G network. Then comes the most practiced one. Turn on your airplane mode when you are traveling in an airplane to avoid this problem. So this might be the technical reason for turning on the airplane mode. Now let's discuss reason number two. The second probable reason would be the air rage and some social norms. A person flying in an airplane might not like the other person continuously talking on his phone and that might be disturbing for the next person. So that's why it is advised for you to keep on your airplane mode. The other problem may be faced by the flight attendants. If you are on a call then they would have to wait for you until you hang up. So in that time it would be complete waste of time and they won't be able to provide the services to every passenger in the plane imagine if it is a plane of 200 passengers and it would be difficult for the flight attendants to reach out to everyone if all of them are busy on their calls so that might be a reason we are still told to turn on the airplane mode and i think as human beings it is our duty to follow this instruction some people including me also believe that enabling airplane mode will help conserve your mobile phone's battery for example if you don't turn it on then it its transmitters will keep on searching for the connectivity but in the air you won't find any connectivity so it will try to cache the connectivity from the far away towers and in doing so it will consume a lot of energy but if you turn on the flight mode then it will definitely not do that so your battery's energy would be conserved when you are in an aeroplane 
so that's why it is suggested that you should keep on the airplane mode overall despite all the advancement in the technology and all the development being done in the aircrafts we are supposed to keep on the airplane mode even in 2024 so i hope you like the video thank you so much for watching the video subscribe for more videos like this goodbye and take care